Seasonal influenza, or the flu, is a highly contagious respiratory illness of the nose, throat, and lungs that is caused by the influenza virus. The flu is not the same illness as the common cold. It is unpredictable, ranging from mild to severe illness, including very serious complications of hospitalization and even death. The flu season usually begins in early fall. However, it peaks in January and February. The best way to protect yourself is to get vaccinated every year, ideally by October, as it takes two weeks before your flu vaccine can protect you from the flu virus. How do you know if you have the flu? Be aware of the common symptoms associated with the illness. These include cough, sore throat, fever and or chills, muscle or body aches, fatigue, runny or stuffy nose, and headaches. Keep in mind, you may not experience all these symptoms. If you suspect you may have the flu, contact your Health Texas provider. Most people will recover from the flu within days to weeks, feeling lousy and missing daily activities. However, some people are more likely to get flu complications that may result in being hospitalized and occasionally result in death. Pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus infections, and ear infections are examples of flu-related complications. People with chronic health conditions such as asthma, heart disease, or diabetes, as well as adults over age 65 and children under the age of 5 are at a higher risk for developing serious complications. However, anyone can develop a complication from the flu. Health Texas recommends a yearly flu vaccination for everyone over 6 months of age as the first and most important step in protecting yourself, your loved ones, and our community from the flu. A vaccination is recommended every year because the virus is always changing and many strains of the flu virus exist. Every year, each vaccine is tailored to protect against the three to four most active flu strains of the prior season. The influenza vaccine comes in two forms. The more traditional injection is composed of inactive virus components, and a live weakened nasal spray is an optional vaccine for certain individuals aged 2 to 49 years of age. There are several benefits of getting the flu vaccination besides greatly reducing the chance of getting the flu. Some benefits include the illness could be milder if you get sick. When pregnant women get vaccinated, they protect themselves and their baby for up to six months after they are born, making it 92% effective in preventing hospitalization of infants for the flu. It also reduces the risk of serious flu complications, such as hospitalizations and deaths. Many people worry that they will get the flu if they get the flu vaccine. This is simply a myth. Viruses in the vaccine are both inactivated and do not contain viral particles putting no truth to the myth that you can get the flu from the flu vaccine. Mild side effects that you may feel from the vaccine are soreness or redness where the shot was given, headache, fever, nausea, or muscle aches. However, most people do not experience problems. If you have any questions about side effects you're experiencing after getting the vaccine, it's best to contact your Health Texas provider. While getting vaccinated is the single best thing you can do to prevent you or your family from getting the flu, there are some everyday tips you can follow to help. If you do catch the flu or feel like you might have the flu, stay home from work or school, as the flu is highly contagious and you want to avoid the potential of passing it on to others. Make sure you are properly washing your hands often. Frequently washing with soap and water can help from spreading the flu. Clean and disinfect surfaces at home and at work, such as counter, desktops, drawers, handles, keyboards, and phones. If a family, friend, or coworker is sick, try to keep your distance until they are no longer contagious. Avoid touching your eyes, mouth, and nose to lower the potential of spreading the flu. Lastly, be sure you are properly covering your nose and mouth when you sneeze. A person with the flu can spread the virus through a cough or sneeze to someone up to six feet away. In addition to the flu vaccine, it's important to speak to your physician about the pneumococcal vaccine. The pneumococcal vaccine protects against infections caused by the bacteria that is responsible for causing serious infections of the lung, such as pneumonia. Blood infections like bacteremia and even meningitis of the brain. Pneumonia caused by this bacteria kills one out of 20 affected people. Bacteremia kills one out of five, and meningitis due to this bacteria kills three out of 10 people. This vaccine is recommended for everyone 65 years of age and older, or for persons aged two to 64 with chronic health conditions such as asthma, heart disease, diabetes, cirrhosis, or alcoholism, or with weakened immune systems, such as those with cancer, kidney failure, transplant patients, smokers, or those on long-term steroids. Mild reactions to any vaccine may occur, but generally occur in very few individuals and may include fever, muscle aches, or even severe reactions. Ask your Health Texas provider if a pneumococcal vaccine is right for you. 
Your Health Texas provider will be happy to go over what vaccines would be best for you and your family.